Yesterday we spoke about how the church uses its time. And today I want to talk about a colossal waste of time. And that is stupid arguments in the church. Stupid controversies. Now you might say, gee, Scott, you're speaking really hard today. But I'm not. I'm quoting scripture. Titus chapter 3, 9 to 11 says, But avoid stupid controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels about the law, for they are unprofitable and worthless. Particularly in COVID, we have had so many stupid arguments on the web about stuff that really is never going to resolve. There's a difference between a discussion and an argument. A discussion is where people together seek a truth. An argument is where somebody comes to prove their side because they're absolutely certain they're right. And it never, ever leads to anything good. And in the process, the world is watching us and saying, gee, you look very divided. Now, I've got to tell you that people love to be drawn to these arguments. But Paul is saying, don't. Don't give them the platform. He continues to say, after a first and second admonition, have nothing more to do with anyone who causes division, since you know that such a person is perverted and sinful and being self-condemned. Paul highlights two things here. Firstly, there is a God-given authority in the church. God anoints apostles, and right from the beginning, apostles have been there to make sure that orthodox teaching stays in place. Today, everybody thinks they're an apostle. Everybody thinks they're a teacher. And I always say this, is, is if someone tells you that they're a shepherd, look for sheep. Because if there's no sheep, or if there's dumb sheep, then they're not a shepherd. And the shepherd has the responsibility of pointing out your error once, pointing out your error twice, and then stopping you from having the platform in the church to cause division. Because your heart is not right if you will not listen to the authority of the shepherds God has put over you. Arguments exist because some people find it builds them a platform. It gives them this weird self-belief. I don't even know what it is. But the truth is, there is one doctrine, God's doctrine. And God has put people in place. And when the church argues, nothing profitable comes from it. It's a worthless waste of time. So next time you're drawn into an argument, ask yourself, is this really profitable? God bless and have a great day.